Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess here to do your what's cracking. No, I'm not. That is so not true. I'm here to do your bonus read. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. That came out in the What's Cracking read too. Uh, money coming in for some of your jobs and things. I can feel it. Um, I'm here to do your bonus read um, for the 22nd, Thursday the 22nd of November. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I, um, I'm so honoured to have you here with me. I love reading for you. I enjoy doing this every day. I love your comments. There are people sending me emails to let me know where they're up to after private readings. Everything about this is just amazing. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you on board. Um, but if my readings don't resonate, I'm all good with that too. Um, there are so many readers on, so many fantastic readers on YouTube. So you just find one that, you know, floats your boat, whatever you call it. So, all right, we're off for a bonus read. So using the Hanson Roberts deck today for your bonus read. Um, cards are pretty lively here. Okie dokie. Oh, that card underneath wanted to come out then, so we better check it out. Okay, so the Eight of Swords is on the top. The Eight of Swords talks about being trapped in your fear. Um, this is about sort of knowing what you have to do, but sort of not wanting to do it. This woman could absolutely 100% free herself from these little, I don't know, fence of swords. But she's refusing to take the blindfold off and do that. So what are you refusing to do today? Um, and there's the Ace of Pentacles again. How interesting is that? So I saw that flip up and I thought that card really wants to come out. So there's something here to do with money that you know you have to do, but you don't want to do it. This is a brand new start for some people, but you're refusing to see it in front of you or refusing to move down this pathway. Very interesting. Obviously, somebody knows what that means. Okay, let's get going okay so we have the ten of pentacles straight out of the gate i love the ten of pentacles because it talks about having everything you need happy family lots of money lots of stability you know the house everything here is in perfect order i also love that there's a very old man and a young baby on this because it sort of says to me you can have all your family close at hand it's like you have everything you need in this picture it's beautiful um and he's got a dog on his lap i think I can't really see it here, but it looks like he does. Um, it could be anything, really. It could be a possum or a sloth or something. But anyway, he's got something on his lap. So he's, you know, every, everything's right in this. It's almost like everything's just in its place at the moment. And then we have the Five of Cups. So what are you missing then? Because it's like you've got everything here that you want, but you're still looking at something you're missing. Something just isn't fitting with your world. I don't know how the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords comes up here, but we'll tie it in, I'm sure. Um, but this is about looking back at the past and not looking forward. And I think that's, unless you're looking back at having everything, maybe you had everything before and now you don't. Um, but definitely this feeling of dissatisfaction here. And you look, you've come a long way. You've got the strength card sitting here. To me, that means you've done really well. You're in a really good place at the moment. You're in a really good place in your outside world. You're really in a good place in yourself. Something's just not right. Something's still missing here. You've tamed your demons. You've worked out where you should and what. And the stability. Again, with this stability, it's like you have everything you need, but you don't feel stable. What is that about? Maybe it's about money because the Ace of Pentacles is there ready for you to move down that path. Um, but something that you're still sitting on, something you're still worrying about here. Something's not quite right. It's almost like you've got everything you need, but something's missing. Okay, so we have you here single. So we have you very, very much, you know, wearing all the beautiful clothes, being able to take care of yourself. You're in a lovely position here, but you're very single. And then we have a brand new start, the Ace of Rods. Someone's getting flowers here. Um, so you've got two brand new starts in front of you. Ace of Pentacles, meaning security. Ace of Wands, something you're very passionate about. 
But for some unknown reason, even though everything seems great at the moment, you're feeling like you're missing something in your life. And here's an offer of love. Okay, so for some of you, it might be that you have everything you want, but you haven't fallen pregnant yet. You're waiting for a baby to come along. For others of you, I think you've had all this happening, but maybe you've not either lost a job. Maybe some of you are not working at the moment. And it's almost like you've had got everything at your fingertips, but something slipped away or something's just not here. Okay, Seven of Pentacles here. This talks about being patient and waiting. Although I think always this guy on this card looks terribly sad. Look at his sad face. Um, this is about, you know, you've planted the seeds. Everything's ready to go here and you're waiting for them to come to fruition. So I'm moving through this fairly quickly because I want to see where this reading's going. And then we have a King of Cups here. Now the King of Cups is a can be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but it's someone who's really got their emotions in check. You know, sometimes they can seem a little bit cold, but that's because they've mastered their emotions. Um, I'm going to do a recap at the end here because we look, and then there's transformation. And these cards here, you've got a couple of Scorpio cards here, so something could be a Scorpio or dealing with a Scorpio. Very, very different energies to both readings this morning. Very different. What I've got here, so we've got up the front, there's this worry, concern. There's some sort of path opening up in front of you, but you're unsure whether to go down that path or not. Now, for a lot of you, as with the What's Cracking reading, this isn't about love this morning. This is very much about your general welfare, your work your business it's like you need to go on a different pathway but you're really unsure whether to move down there now maybe it's at risk to your security and that's why you're worried about doing it because it's almost like you have everything you need here everything's in place but there's something you need to do to follow stability to find some stability in your life there's definitely some sort of offer coming in here but i feel like you're you want to take this new offer because it's passionate and it's going to bring money for you. And you, I think you've wanted it for a really long time. But now it's here. You're not sure if you want to go with, ahead with it. Okay. Uh, for others. Okay. What I'm feeling here is someone. You're quite happy in, in where you are in life. Everything's great for you. But I think someone's come in to offer you something here. And it could be love. Although there's not a love in the cards. It's almost like somebody's coming in to offer you something, but you're really worried about taking it for some reason. There's no feeling of past relationship. There's no feeling that someone's coming back from your past to offer you something. This feels like someone new. But you just don't want to move ahead on this, whatever it is. I'm going to have to put some more cards on it. It's killing me. So the card I have up the front here is the death card. Now this, to me, looks like with the Eight of Swords up front, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. It's almost like you're being offered something, but this offer is now making you go back inside yourself to have a look for how to answer this. It's like the road is being paved in front of you, but you are unable to move forward at the moment because of some sort of fear associated with something. I can't see what it is. Oh, universe, you're very clever. It could be that someone's offering you a relationship, but you're not in love with this person. Maybe someone wants to have a relationship with you and you know that they can offer you everything, but the love's not there. Very possible. Um, it could be that someone's offering you a way forward in work or business, but for some unknown reason, you don't want to go down this path. This path is not attractive to you at all. And yet, it clearly is you know, full of passion and drive and you know, and money, and you're just standing there in all your glory, like you've got everything. So I'm not really sure if you're worried about putting something on the line. Um, maybe you have everything sort of sewn up and have a really good life, and somebody wants a relationship. But in order to let them in your life, you've got to let down some of these guards, and you're not really ready to do that. This is a very different reading. Five of Frauds. 
so much mental conflict here. So much worry. It's like I've built all this up. I've got all this done. I've got my empire. I've got everything I need. And if I accept this offer, it's just going to throw everything out. Things just won't be the same again. Okay, so the death card's up front here and I have the Hanged Man, the Ten of Rods and the Knight of Cups sitting on it. There's something about this offer you don't want to take. It's like the, it, this offer offers you everything you want, but you don't want to take it. Why? You, you, you're having issues and problems here, putting things down to accept something. For some unknown reason, you don't trust what's being offered to you. Okay, it is about love. It's about balance. There's a nine of swords here as well. Sorry, I'm doing this like a personal reading this morning. <laughs> this is about past wounds, past hurts, not trusting, not being able to move forward on something. Something has been offered to you that's just seems to be perfect, seems to fit in with you well. But it's like you just don't want it. You're happy with things the way they are. Definitely love, though. Unable to move forward. Too many fears. Not being able to understand where the offer's coming from. It's really nice, though, to know people are feeling very comfortable with who they are and where they are. Um, for some of you, you don't want to take this job because it's going to take you perhaps into state or... Um, and the job's fantastic. It suits you. You love it. The money's there. The passion's there. But you don't want to travel to get the job. It might mean you've got to move away from your family, work away from your family. Um, and you're just not willing to take it. And yet it's the opportunity of a lifetime. So it's making you feel very confused here. Because on the one hand, it's everything you want. But on the other hand, it's going to take you away from what you know. Okay, well, that's quite interesting because the card of marriage has come out. And it says you're attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Okay, so maybe some of you have fallen in love with someone who doesn't live where you do. <laughs> someone who's able to offer you everything you want, but you really don't want to pack up and go. So it could be job, could be business, could be anything. But at the moment, you're like, no, nope, everything in my life is perfect. I'm not sure I want to leave. But you're giving yourself a lot of... Um, sleepless nights and worry about this because you're unable to, to be able to move forward. Very different reading, people. Both very different energies this morning, but I guess somebody had to hear it. Thank you. Have an awesome day.